to look for them and then he decided to they betrayed him because of the jealousy they had they had a lot of jealousy against Joseph mnakumbuka pia alipewa koti ile ya many colors ni rangi nyingi na baba yake hiyo koti ilifanya our brothers wake waka feel ni kama this person we should eliminate him from amongst us so that our father can go back to that place of loving us but you remember that in this scenario that god loves us unconditionally he loves us all the same way he loves me is the same way he loves you our god is not just limited to one person his love is so broad that we cannot even tell any vile mungu anatupenda eh wacha tu so joseph they sold him and then when he went now to where he was sold to potiphar aka rise to power he was taken to prison and then he rose again to power and then he was given that uh, ile cheo ya kukua mwenye nyumba kwa potiphar and then he was also again taken back to prison because of potiphar's wife when he was being tested and now when he was in the prison ndivyo hivyo tu alienda akajuana na watu connection and then aka fika kwa fero and then now when he was there you see all this when all this is happening this is in god's will for him to get to that place where he will be able to save the people now the egyptians remember the dream pharaoh had and he could not interpret it his people could not interpret it alafu sasa ndio ikafika mahali akapewa the that authority to rule over the seven years of famine ndio aweke hizo stores you see all these if kama hata kutupa kwa ile shimo akauza kwa ishmaelites angeweza kufika mahali alikuwa amefika hii yote ilikuwa kwa mpango ya Mungu lakini Joseph tunaona vile alikuwa huko Egypt when he was selling food and then the brothers came from Canaan to buy food from Egypt si walipata ni Joseph mkubwa huko wakaenda wakapata ni yako huko and then he recognized them but he, they did not recognize him i feel like for most of us we will not even try to forgive them si joseph alikuwa na ile authority ya kusema hao wakae huko ama hadi wasipewe chakula but he had that heart his heart was purified by god because in all these was god's plan ya joseph ndio aweze ku save these people joseph alikuwa mejibuild kwa god in that place where even if he was sold even if he did so much akasaidia ule cup bearer ku interpret dream and then huyo akamsahau mkumbuka alienda 2 years before hadi akumbuke that there was joseph in prison he forgave them remember he when he reunited with the brothers he forgave them vile tuliona aliwasamehea and that is how we should be no matter what people do to you just have that of forgiving people do not try see vengeance is for god tuachie mungu afanye kazi yake yetu yenye tunaweza fanya ni kusamehe huyo ambaye amekukosea na unamsamehe kwa upendo si ati na kusamehe juu umekuwa mkubwa juu umekuwa fulani na kusamehea ndio i benefit from you no it should be that from that place of unconditionally forgiving them forgiving them with love si unamsamehe with instructions and all that nakumbuka hey is tasema tutafukuza kwetu <laughs> kuna vile mnaweza fanya makosa kwa nyumba alafu kwa sababu ni my brother amenishika anani ambia 
ndakusamea lakini utani baia kitu ndio ni siku seme haifai kuwa na story mingi mingi hivyo lakini hatujaifanya hivyo <laughs> so from this we are trying to see joseph ile wakati ambapo joseph alikuwa that place joseph was in the spirit was seeing god's purpose for him he was seeing the future and he knew where he was going so try to see something good that will come out of situations you are in somebody might bring you to that place and akukelelesha but there is something that they, you are learning from all that all these situations so um why why forgiveness and love i said we are the body of christ right and this body is meant to be one e uh, mwili wa Yesu this church the body of Christ inafaa kuwa jambo moja we should be one and through this love and forgiveness nowadays that's when um that's, that's the place where we can get to the place of unity tukiwa na ukisameheana kwa upendo ndio tutakuwa na umoja na mnakumbuka wahenga hawakukuna farasi masikio waliposema <laughs> that umoja ni nguvu utengano ni udhaifu jambo la kwanza tunafaa kuelewa ya kwamba in this body of Christ we are not in heaven we are on earth tukiwa hapa hapa duniani nikumaanisha we are humans sisi ni binadamu na tukiwa binadamu we are not perfect okay tukiwa hivi binadamu we are not perfect and in this we have some weaknesses we have some weaknesses in that we are in the body of Christ we do not expect people to just be perfect sometimes nitafanya makosa sometimes nitakuwa mimi si mzuri sometimes i will find myself in situations where i am doing the wrong thing with na sometimes without knowledge or sometimes with knowledge but we should understand that in this body of christ sisi ni binadamu we are not that perfect but we are pleading with the spirit who gives that, us that pure heart right and in this tunafaa tuelewane si ati una expect just because um i am here preaching i am perfect sindio there is something that i might do that may offend you that you never expected from me you never expected from someone sometimes very high expectations leads to disappointments very high expectations lead to disappointments na tukiwa kwa hii body of christ we should not really expect the god like perfection hiyo ukitafuta sometimes being very blameless ninakuanga ngumu but through the grace of god we are purified so in this body i'd like you to and we are we are really not all that the same we really not all that the same we have unique capabilities we have different graces na naweza taka muangalie your palm just look at your palm ukiangalia look at it look at the left one and then the right one 
ukiangalia hivyo at least wengine wamepata chance ya kujiangalia ukiangalia hivyo um they, you will notice there is a difference in those palms sinona hizo zinaitwa aje hizo lines there is kokomkono there enye iko kwa left side is different from the one that is on the right side so in this we are learning that we are not that the same we are differently blessed in terms of graces in terms of what we can do remember the gifts of the spirit there is someone who can stand here and preach very well there is someone who can